Hey everybody, welcome back to my habitat. I'm Andrew Beauchamp and today we're gonna to be planting four perennials in my front yard. So come on, let's get started. First plant we have is this beautiful salvia. Just kidding, it's ratty AF. Um, we actually just pulled this out of this pot right here. It definitely needs to go into the ground. I, mean, I wanna put it in as soon as possible so it actually has time to root in and establish before winter comes, which is feels like any day now. Today's a cold day. So this is a hookara. I'm not sure the variety. I'm gonna guess it's like a black pearl hookara, but either way, it is gorgeous. I love the red color of these leaves and I don't have anything like that in my garden. So I'm excited to get this in the ground. The next two, I'm gonna actually kind of put them together because my mom got these for me, but they've been uh, here for about a month and they're still not in the ground. So they're going into that. Astrantia Pink Joyce, um, beautiful plant. It did have um, flowers on it, but of course they have died off now that they're still inside their container. Absolutely beautiful flowers. I'll put a few pictures up right beside me. Um, but even though these are dying off, the foliage is still coming up with new shoots coming up. So that is great. Beautiful Hosta Water Slide, it's called. Um, one thing that's really different about this uh, flower or the flowers on this is the fact that they come up in kind of a round spiral instead of the classic kind of long uh, bell forms that go all the way down the stem. These kind of flower all the way around one part of the stem, which is really unique and really beautiful and not to mention the bluish uh, foliage on this plant with the sharp leaves is gorgeous. Now that you guys know what we're planting, let's go put them in the ground. So let me show you where everything ended up. There's the hosta right there. Now to kind of give you guys a little bit of an idea, we're gonna create a perennial border next spring going down that way. And we really wanna load it full of really beautiful flowering things. Coming up from the hosta right there, that's where that hookah ended up. Oh, this area right here is now filled. I might do some um, annuals in those kind of spots there next year. But other than that, this area I'm very, very happy with. And now we got that little pop of color right there. Also, I'm gonna quickly show off this. My brother made that. I don't think he finished it, but uh, it was at my mom's house, so I took it. Very creative guy he is. Now you can't really see it, but right there is our salvia. Now you can see the dead part of it. But let's get a little bit closer in. This is going to be beautiful next year once I cut off all this dead stuff. Then coming up along this border here, we have the Astrantia here. This will get to about three feet, so it should match the rest of these cone flowers here. But I'm very, very excited for this plant. Apparently it attracts butterflies, bees, and hummingbirds. Not to mention it has very beautiful flowers for arrangements. 
I want to thank you guys for coming along with me on this one. I'm so happy I finally have these perennials in the ground because they've been sitting on my front porch right next to where Daniel is for like a month now. So they just really needed it. Um, till next time, stay planning.